the tree that changed its habits long long ago in a forest there lived a handsome young antelope he was very fond of the fruits of a particular tree every fruit that dropped from it he is very fond of it in a village bordering the jungle there lived a hunter who captured and killed antelopes and deer he used to set traps for animals under the fruit bearing trees when the animal came to eat the fruit of the tree it would be caught in the trap he would then take it away and kill it for its meat one day while visiting the forest in search of a game the hunter happened to see the antelope standing under its favorite tree eating the fruit he was delighted what a big healthy antelope he thought i must catch him i will get lot of money by selling this meat thereafter for many days the hunter kept tracking of the antelope's movement he realized that the antelope was remarkably vigilant and fleet-footed animal and that it would be virtually impossible for him to track him down however he had a weakness for that particular tree the crafty hunter swiftly concluded that he could use this weakness to capture him early one morning the hunter entered the forest with some logs of wood he climbed the tree and put up a mashin a platform for hunters as one of its branches by trying the logs together having set this trap at the foot of the tree he then took up position on the mashin and waited for the antelope he strewed a lot of fruits on the ground beneath the tree to conceal the trap and lure the antelope he did not have to wait long soon enough the antelope came strolling along he was very hungry and was eagerly looking forward to his usual breakfast of delicious ripe fruits on the tree top the hunter having sighted him sat with bated breath willing him to come closer and step into his trap however the antelope was no fool even in his hunger he did not give up his vigilance as he neared the tree he stopped short the number of fruits lying under the tree seemed considerably more than usual it would take a whirlwind to bring down so many fruits but the previous night had not been particularly windy what is more the other trees in the vicinity appeared normal there were not so many fruits scattered below them surely something was amiss decided the antelope he paused just out of reach of the tree and carefully began examining the ground now he saw what distinctly looked like a human footprint without going closer he looked suspiciously at the tree the hunter was well hidden in its thick foliage nevertheless the antelope on close scrutiny was now sure that his suspicions had been unfounded he could see a corner of the mashin peeping out of the leaves meanwhile the hunter was getting desperate why wasn't the antelope coming nearer to eat his favorite fruit suddenly he had a brain wave let me try throwing some fruit at him maybe that will lure him to the tree so the hunter plucked some choice fruits and hurled them in the direction of the antelope alas instead of luring him closer it only confirmed his fears the antelope said to himself the fruits are coming flying towards me instead of dropping on the ground as usual since when did trees start throwing their fruits now i am certain that there is a hunter up the tree and it is he who is throwing them at me to bring me closer so he can trap me raising his voice he spoke in the direction of the tree listen my dear tree until now you have always dropped your fruits on the earth today you have started throwing them at me this is a most untree like action of yours and i am not sure i like the change since you have changed your habits i too will change mine i will get my fruits from a different tree from now on that still acts like a tree the hunter realized that the antelope had outsmarted him with its cleverness 
He was so furious that he did not bother to continue the phase of hiding. Parting the leaves to reveal himself, he grabbed his javelin and flung it wildly at the antelope. But the clever antelope was well prepared for any such action on his part. Giving a saucy chuckle, he leapt nimbly out of the harm's ways. The javelin missed him by a wide margin and got embedded in the ground. The antelope laughingly called out, Better luck next time, O hunter. The frustrated hunter was left shouting furious curses as he bounded away into the deep forest, never to be seen again. Forewarned is forearmed. The End